Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Okay, welcome to another episode of Hashtag Lipstick Friday. First and foremost, thank you all so much for showing incredible love on my previous video, which is the a nude brown lipsticks video. I'm really so grateful for all of the comments and you know, all the love that you have shown on previous video. Like, thank you so much, you guys. So in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you all my most favorite lip liners of all time. I don't know why, like all of a sudden it started raining here and I'm not even sure, like it's, it's pouring. Can you hear that sound? Yeah. Uh, as I was saying, okay, so first and foremost, I know most of you will ask me like, why do you think we need a lip liner? So there are three main reasons of why one needs a lip liner. The first one is I think most of us know by now because of thanks to Kylie Jenner. Uh, so she started this trend, uh, you know, wherein uh, she used to line her lips to make her lips look big. But then we all got to know that she did some lip fillers the whole point is yes you can uh, you know add some volume to your lips um, and make them look a little bigger with the help of a lip liner so that is number one reason why you use a lip liner so another reason why people love to use lip liners is also because uh, sometimes you know what like uh, your lipstick might not be long lasting so if you add uh, a lip liner first and then use a lipstick it is going to make your lipstick last longer so that and uh, I, I also love using a lip liner because so I have like really dark pigmented lips and sometimes you know when I wear a lipstick it kind of changes the color or um, you know it can look very ashy or uh, you know like you can see my pigmentation peeking through from the lipstick so if I just want to uh, cover that up or add some coverage I can wear a lip, lip liner like it can be a nude lip liner or uh, you know a lip liner which is similar to the lipstick so it just um, gives kind of like that full coverage kind of lips and also makes your lipstick last longer as I already mentioned before so yeah that's the reason why I love using a lip liner uh, you know people like James Charles or Nikki Tutorials or you know people with completely different complexions uh, love a particular lipstick and we think that oh my god it just looks so pretty on them so you know what we think it looks good on everyone but then when the lipstick actually arrives and when you apply on your lips it looks really ashy and very bad and it just like washes you off so uh, now the problem is you can't throw the lipstick because it is very expensive uh, in order to not like just throw your lipstick in one corner and just cry about it what you can do is you know you can wear uh, you can wear a nice dark um, you know brown lipstick or a brown lip shade which suits your skin tone and you can just like you know apply the lipstick or the liquid lipstick uh, blend it in so you know you can make your lipstick work uh, and also doing this you know like your lipstick will look so beautiful like there's this 90s trend that is going on where you wear like a nice dark like brown lip liner and then you use a nude lipstick it just looks so amazing according to me and it also makes your lips look so big and nice so yeah i really love that so these are my reasons why i love a lip liner i think that just convinced you why you should continue watching this video right so yeah guys if you have any recommendations or any video ideas for me what like what i have to do next uh, all you have to do is just leave your comments along with hashtag lipstick friday and also do not forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell and now without uh, wasting any more time let's jump to the video okay so the first shade that i have for you is the milani understatement lip liner in the shade desert rose now this is one of my recent purchases and it has become my most favorite shade uh, very soon because it just complements my skin tone the most now i am not a huge like you know a pink a nude pink lover kind of a person um i think uh, you know nude pinks just wash me off but this shade looks so stunning on me it's the perfect shade of nude pink and yeah definitely if you come under fair uh, to medium skin tones this can look like a really pretty pink shade for you but because i come under tan skin tones it just looks like a very pretty nude on me so the next lip liner that I have is the MAC Lip Pencil in the shade Hover. Now this is again a very pretty uh, nude brown 
uh, you know lip pencil now definitely again if you are um, you know if you come under fair to medium skin tones then this can be a really pretty like a brown uh, lip liner for you but since i come under tan skin tones it's such a pretty like a you know brown nude shade and i absolutely love this and uh, yeah i just love to use this by itself but also to top off any of my nude lipsticks and it just looks absolutely stunning uh, so yeah i really love this shade so much and then uh, next we have the pack lip pencil in the shade coffee now again this is such a unique shade uh, when you remember like when you uh, see the name coffee you would think that oh it's a, like it's like a brown uh you know lip pencil or something but it's actually quite unique it has um, it's kind of like a pinky peach brown uh you know lip liner definitely again it's a very nude lip liner on me and it just looks absolutely stunning the shade is something it's very very different uh and very unique and also this formula is this uh, it just glides on very easily and it is very very uh, affordable and then we have the mac lip pencil in the shade soar again another very pretty like a mauvey pink shade definitely if you come under fair and medium skin tones this can be a very pretty uh, you know like a pink shade on you i can definitely use it like a lip liner or something but for me it is such a good like a nude mauve pink shade actually don't like to use it by itself i use this lip liner um as a base for any of my nude like the very nude lip shades so yeah that's how i like to uh, apply this one and again all the mac lip pencils you know they're not very very creamy but they're definitely long lasting and then we have again another uh, mac lip pencil in the shade spice and again guys this is such a pretty like a nude shade on me with like just a hint of you know brown uh, tones to it so yeah, i really love it like it's such a pretty like a nude shade okay but yeah uh, but again if you come under like you know me a fair to medium skin tones this can be a very pretty brown nude these lip liners are not retractable you definitely have to sharpen them so yeah uh, mac as a brand is a professional brand so i think that makes sense you know it's very hygienic if you want to use it on your clients or like more people than yeah uh, and then we have the pack color lock long lasting lip liner in the shade so spicy now this is again a very similar shade to the previous one that i showed you the max spice lip liner and um, but you guys this uh, you know shade has more of brown undertones to it uh, compared to uh, the previous shade but yeah still a very very pretty color i absolutely love this and it's very new on me um so yeah i just love the shade by itself it looks so freaking pretty but also like just to use like a base to make them long lasting and uh, you know like give that full coverage and this is something you can go with okay so the next shade that i have is the huda beauty's lip contour in the shade icon now this is such a stunning uh, you know like a coral pink shade uh guys after uh, you know like nude browns and um, you know reds i think uh, coral pinks are something that i absolutely love and now this lip liner is very creamy it just glides on very easily and it's very long lasting and it's non transfer proof uh, definitely you have to sharpen it it's not a retractable pencil but i wish it was uh, because of the price point uh, but it's not and uh, don't worry about the price point because i have a dupe for you next so moving on uh, we have the next shade which is called as uh, the plush again from the same pack color lock long lasting lip liner and this shade is very similar to the shade icon uh, but it's just a little nude compared to the shade icon but still it's a very very similar shade you guys so yeah uh, probably this can be like a dupe for the icon shade yeah, it's uh, very nice it's very pretty again a uh, nice like coral pink shade absolutely looks stunning on each and every skin tone and complements each and every skin tone so well um so yeah again this is a uh, very very long lasting and these lip liners are very smooth they just glide on so easily they're super duper pigmented yeah i really like them there's no hassle in like applying these lip liners at all so next we have uh, the K Beauty Matte Action Lip Liner and this in the shade High Impact. Now this is again guys, ever since I have got this, I am so in love with it. I just love this shade so much. I think it complements again every skin tone, especially people with medium to like, uh, you know, 
tan and even like dusky skin tone just looks so freaking pretty this particular shade is a little darker compared to the shade uh, icon and the shade plush from pack uh, but again still this is uh, you know it also gets a little darker uh, over time like yeah but still a very very pretty shade i think this like just compliments me the most and i can use this even without makeup it just looks absolutely stunning so if you just are using this lip liner it can be a little sticky but still it's a very long lasting uh, lip liner uh, so moving on we have the zara line it up lip liner in the shade l02 now this is again such a pretty like a coral pink shade definitely it looks very very nude on me uh, but if you come under like fair to medium skin tones then this can be a very pretty uh you know like a coral pink shade absolutely stunning it i think it complements uh skin tones up to tan but if you are uh, darker than me then this can wash you off a little bit now coming to the formula you guys it's super duper long lasting it's non-transfer proof um you know it, it is very very comfortable on the lips and it just glides on so easily like the application is so smooth so yeah i absolutely love it so next shade that i have is again from mac and this is in the shade chikori now this is such a unique shade it's definitely like a terracotta uh you know brown like orange brown shade uh, again guys this uh, you know lip liner just compliments everyone with uh, from fair to medium to even dusky skin tones uh, so well uh, but I think uh, this just looks stunning on uh, you know like fair to medium and even tanner skin tones uh, so you can just use it like a lip liner on any nude lipsticks or any nude like terracotta shades it just looks amazing or even like you know like a peachy coral or something it just looks good so the next shade that i have is the nika lips don't lie lip liner in the shade pillow fight now this is like the nuder version of the shade chikori and uh this definitely complements people with fair and medium skin tones like even i can pull it off but definitely again if you're darker than me then this can wash you off uh still a very pretty like a peachy coral shade absolutely stunning it's long lasting again it uh, has a very smooth application and it is quite affordable as well so yeah so next we have the essence long lasting lip liner in the shade ready for red uh, as i've already mentioned like my love for red you guys already know uh, this has to be included i have only two lip liners that i usually go for whenever i'm going with like red lipsticks such a pretty like a nice warm red shade uh, definitely like an orange red shade uh, the formula is so great of these lip liners it's it glides on so easily it's super long lasting um and it's very very comfortable on the lips i don't know why nika has kind of uh, you know stopped selling essence products on their website but i really wish they get it back uh, so next we have uh, the ColourPop Lippy Pencil in the shade Bossy. Now again, this is such a stunning, bright, like in your face kind of red shade. I absolutely love it. I think it just looks gorgeous on people with like especially uh, tan and you know deeper complexions. Uh, like so stunning and uh, you can use this just by itself. It looks so freaking pretty. Uh, but also you can use it to you know just add uh, any of your liquid lipsticks or lipsticks to, you know, to make them like really long lasting um yeah i i love this so much and then we have the shade love bug from the same color pop lippy pencil so these lip liners again guys they are the best you know they're very very creamy very long lasting and it, they're non-transfer proof so yeah that's why i love them uh but this shade in particular is such a pretty like a brick shade you know like a reddish brown kind of a shade it's very unique and it just looks so gorgeous just by itself uh but again you can use this for any of your new shades it looks so stunning and yeah i really love this so much then we have the la colors auto lip liner in the shade rose brown again in the same like the brick uh, family like the reddish brown family uh definitely uh this is more of like a brown undertone compared to the red uh so yeah i really like it again and uh, these lip liners again are very affordable they apply pretty like you know smooth on your lips and they're very very long lasting they're non-transfer proof uh, so yeah, i really like them uh, any skin tones can pull this off from fair to medium to dusky and uh, dusky skin tones but definitely for fair to medium skin tones this is such a beautiful like a uh, lip liner to use uh, on any nude lipsticks 
So moving on, we have the Chambord Velvet Touch Lip Liner in the shade Brown 02. Now this is again like the darker version of the previous shade that I showed you and definitely, you know, people with uh, tan and dusky like deeper complexions can pull this off so easily and uh, yeah again you know you can just top it off on your nude lipsticks with a lip liner like a lip liner it just looks absolutely stunning it's a perfect like a reddish brown shade uh i think for dusky and deeper complexions i think this can be like a really pretty color like a lip liner shade uh then moving on we have the wet and wild color icon lip liner in the shade chestnut and this is oh my god this is like my most favorite lip liner of all time if you have to buy that one lip shade like one lip liner from this uh, entire video then this has to be it because it is very very affordable it's uh, again very creamy uh you know it just like applies so smoothly on your lips it's long lasting it's non-transfer proof uh but again guys this is like that perfect shade of brown it just suits anyone from fair to medium to tan and even dusky complexions and i get so much use from this uh, particular lip liner that it goes well with so many of my nude lip shades be it a mauvey pink shade or a brown nude shade like anything i can just pull this off and it just looks stunning on you know any nude shade um and yeah it definitely gives some definition to my lips and makes my lips look really pretty so i absolutely love this you guys this i think is a must-have in everyone's collection Okay, and the last lip liner that I have for you is the NYX lip liner in the shade Brown. Now, this is definitely like the chocolate brown uh, shade. It's quite dark and I think this shade uh, in particular is kind of like a dupe for the MAC lip liner in Cork. Uh, but yeah, this definitely has replaced uh, the lip liner in Cork because I used to use that shade a lot. Um, again, this is a very pretty like a dark brown shade as I already mentioned. And I think anyone can pull this off but mostly people with uh, you know from tan and dusky deeper complexions. It just looks absolutely stunning to apply any of your nude lipsticks. To just give like a definition for your lips and also i love to use this especially to do like a 90s lip uh, so yeah i absolutely love this now guys that completes today's video i hope you all really enjoyed it definitely uh, give this video a huge thumbs up if you like it and also make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so yeah guys today's shout out goes to my slay queen courageous girl that is a really smart name right uh, so yeah if you want me to take your name next on my shout out all you have to do is you can leave any nice comment comment or you know uh leave me like a request for my next upcoming video with hashtag lipstick friday and i'll take your name next i'll catch you all next time with another interesting one until then you know the drill keep slaying bye guys